what's going on, guys? Max V Hates here, aka the Clock Master. I'm here with my wife, Shannon, aka Cosmic Banks. And we're here to check out Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion episodes one. Right now, that's what we're checking out today. Yeah, I'm excited about this. If you guys, I, I just, I don't know the hype level right now for Secret Invasion because all the trailers, I haven't really been seeing a huge amount of views on them. Yeah, that ha hasn't even from the last one we saw. That one didn't even hit like mil, right? The last one, the recent one before this video, didn't even hit a mil. Yeah. So. so I don't know if people's hype level for this is just not there. I don't know if the trailers just didn't do a good job. I don't know what's going on. Even the reactions that I've, I haven't really seen a lot of reactions. Yeah. To the trailers. And then even some of those views on those other reaction videos that I've seen for it on channels that I know that get a lot of views, they didn't really get a lot of views on them. Yeah. So. I, I, I don't know where you guys are at with Secret Invasions. I'm excited just because it's a new Marvel thing. I'm interested in see what's going on with Nick Fury right now. Yeah. You know, how they're going to do every, how they're going to tie all this stuff in. I feel like a lot of the hype for Marvel right now just isn't there. It just isn't general. there, yeah. I, I, it's sad. I, yeah. it, it's sad, man. I, it's been, it's kind of like the whole uh, people, I guess, with like the, you know, what we were talking about earlier, with the post storylines. Yeah. I kind of feel it. Like that's where it's at right now. Yeah. With the MCU, where the big hype was, you know, like Endgame was, you know, the other expansion, right. the thing I was talking about earlier. Right. So it was like, and after that, it's just like these little, you know, side post quest. side quest yeah. things that people aren't really interested in. So um, let us know your thoughts down below on how you're feeling about secret invasion man uh, and how you feel about the mcu right now man i don't want to see this franchise go away in yeah. terms of the hype that's one of the things i loved about marvel so i am hoping that we can revitalize this franchise and let's keep things going i, I just don't I just, i'm just not seeing a lot of talk online i'm using the online like conversation yeah. to judge how the show you know because like when mando recent mando season came out lots of reactions Lots of trailer reactions, lots of Reddit posts, lots of Twitter posts, lots of Instagram memes. Mm -hmm. The community and the conversation was, was high. And even before the season came out, there was a lot of hype for it. So, you know, I I saw more hype for the Marvels than I did for this. So I guess yeah. it's just a movie. So I don't know. Let's get right into it. Let's see what's going on. I did like the first look that they released. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. A 52-minute episode, man. It's getting a long chunk of episodes i don't know how many episodes it'll be yeah i'm not sure it might be i feel like it might be like six bro if all the episodes are gonna be this long that's a good it's show. probably gonna be like six yeah like usually five to six anyways full reaction is on patreon it should be on patreon by the time you're seeing this video so make sure to hop on over to our patreon the link is down below make sure to hop over to shan's channel as well where we are doing other movie reactions and, and stuff over there so check that out and yeah we'll just get right into it we'll talk about it later as we normally do let's get into it now i mean the man was trying to kill him who shot him though he didn't remember he had a gun oh but it looked like it went from behind so no it looked like an exit that's not convenient having a gps on your on your right <laughs> it would just be better to have it on your Who's flipping on the lights? Maybe motion sensors? Yeah, I am, man. It better be motion <laughs> sensor. Because I'm like, who's flipping up the lights? <laughs> Imagine just Agent Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one. Bro, you not Tom Cruise. <laughs> You're not built for this. Ow. Oh. Is that a scroll? Why, though? Because he's a scroll. Yeah. There it is. The guy had it right. <laughs> yeah. I kind of had a feeling when he was like, oh yeah, I'll just take this to Fury. I can't go talking to Fury like that. Nice intro animation. Right. Why does that look silly? <laughs> silly. <laughs> I can't know why. It just <laughs> looks so silly, the shape of it. It's a shot, though. Yeah. Old man Nick. He really came down like an alien. Right. I mean, how is he going to calm down? The ship, like, normally? I mean, you got a normal ship out there. Dude was beamed down like an actual UFO. Gotta get your earth legs. Mm hmm What a sentence to say, though, to someone. Right. Because like, it's normal now. Yeah. To bring you back to Earth. I guess she was right. Passionate Nick Fury. Right. It's like, it's so weird. But they, but they go back, though. Yeah, they do. They go way back. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of what we thought was going to happen, though. Agent yeah, I got this guy. Yep. Building out the most complex aerospace Immediately don't trust. <laughs> right? <laughs> I never trust this dude. Immediately don't trust. No. <laughs> That's a scroll. 
Yep, yeah, he's a scroll, double agent. Mm -hmm. Can't trust nobody. No. I mean, Nick should know better. Right. <laughs> Um, Easy to find. Oh my God. <laughs> man, that's my girl, man. I love her. She'll always be Queen Elizabeth. It's like, oh, wow. Yeah. You knew the rebel leader personally, <laughs> don't you? I knew him. Is that why you came down from your space station? You feel responsible? What do you know about a I said, but he lost his touch. Right. Yeah, that gotta be um Talo's daughter. Unless, yeah. yeah. I probably 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 already knew that in the um from before then, like casting and whatnot. Mm. I just never looked into it. I, I didn't either. So. But that gotta be her either way. Yeah. Got a whole operation, bro. Right. This is wild. Just... Right. Oh, mm. So what? No, it's him up top. Like. Yeah. Jeez. That's crazy. That's crazy. Scrolls have infiltrated the ranks of major world powers. Where is the you gotta eat something. Right. Need your energy. It's a lot of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. What, what was that all about? Feel? Yeah, what was that all about? I don't know. Maybe she's being a double agent. Maybe she doesn't like how they're going about things. Maybe she's trying to stop it. Maybe. Maybe she was like, I want revolution, but I don't want it like this. Yeah. Or I want a home, but I don't want to get it like this. Right. Or something like that. I don't know. Amelia Clark is no stranger to playing evil people. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we did this for quite a bit. <laughs> Life crisis shopping spree yet. <laughs> the Avengers. <laughs> yeah. A good decision or a very bad possible person of interest. Hmm? So it's either a good decision or a very bad one. Oh, yeah. Last Louis XIV chairs in there? <laughs> uh, how about Dirty Bomb? But not right now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I got this. You sure? <laughs> Getting a little rusty there. Right, benefit. Come on, Taylor. She was a war general, bro. Right. Come on now. Can't, don't let him disrespect you like that. Bro, he's been helping his own people for a while now. Right. Just because y'all are impatient. Mm-hmm. And obviously she knows she's being followed. Mm-hmm. And never go down to a hole. Because you know they want you're gonna get ambushed. Right. Waiting for it. Yep, yeah. There it is. You about to one v one a scroll? Right. It's gonna hurt Maria. Family reunion. Hmm? It's a family reunion. Family reunion, yeah. <laughs> you want to cross now? Someone else? Or Carol? I mean, obviously he's changed. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at him and it's like, part of me wants to think he has a plan for all this. But then the other part of me is like, bro, he really doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. He's not in the same headspace that he was before. Nah, he wouldn't be. He disappeared and he just come back in an instant. Five years passed and you missed all of it. Right. And you couldn't prevent any of it or save anything or do anything. But I thought that car said Talos Incorporated. <laughs> mm -hmm. then, then change your face. Right. It's just for us. Huh? Just for us. Yeah. yeah but we would know. He's going to deal with the fact that his daughter is working mm -hmm. directly. Okay, never mind. I thought he was going to leave out the information that she, that she saw him. Cause you know sometimes they set that up and then yeah. Nick is gonna be like, "What were you gonna tell us? You were working. Your daughter was working for them." Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad they didn't actually cut out that rope. How would you mean not even forty, bro? You way well over forty. Well, he stole someone's identity. Huh? He stole someone's identity. I know. I'm talking about his identity. He's well over forty. No, in human years, him himself would be. Oh. I know. In human years, he's well over forty too. Look at how he look, bro. You tell me that man under forty? Not this identity. <laughs> This is somebody else. I'm guessing Gravik might have been like a son to him. Maybe. You know, and he abandoned him and he's... So maybe that's what Maria was talking about, how maybe it's for him. Yeah. With this kid in the ball. Right. And it's the second time you saw a kid with a ball? It's the same kid. What if one of them are carrying duds? Maybe. But and they're just bait to be tracked. Yeah. The kid could have it too. That could be the robot. Yeah, Nick was onto her, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that same lady. The man has many faces.
Yeah, one of those are fake. It's graphic. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. It's okay, Nick's on to him. That's wild. Mm. Jesus. Damn. God. Oh no, it's too late now. Even if you killed him now, he already set them off. Yep, this was the spark of everything. Oh God, I was gonna ask that question. Is that even Hill? Or is that a decoy? Oh shoot, that wasn't even him, bro. I was wondering it's, if Maria was gonna make it out. I don't know who to trust no more, bro. But I was literally gonna wonder if Maria was gonna make it out. She still could. Tell like, nah, man, she been in this for way too long. Damn. Yeah, man, that's yeah, it, so bro. Dang, I was gonna want. I was wondering how long she was gonna evade this, bro. Dang. Dang. That sucks. Oh, dang. Man, she been in here so long. Yeah. Mm, for her to be dead on the street like that. Dang, bro, that's not a way for her to go. Dang. Dang. Yeah, that's where it says special guest star, Kobe Smulders. Yeah. That's it. You're not going to see Maria again. Dang. Dang. Gosh, she's going to be so weird and sad watching she... um, in the shield now. Well. Well, I'll just tell you this. She only made cameos in that show. Oh, I thought she was on the main cast. Mm -mm. Oh. She's not on the main cast. The only the only one from the MCU that was on the main was cast Coulson. was Coulson. Mm, I thought she was too. No, she made cameos. So it wasn't. Oh, and think of bad. huh? It won't be as bad. Then. No, and and since the blip changed a lot of things, and since Agents of Shield isn't really canon anymore, yeah. Think of it as a multiversal story. Yeah. However, think of it as a multiversal story after season two. Just because season two takes place like right before, during, and after Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. So it sets up a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. It adds more to the Winter Soldier as a movie. Because it sets some, some behind the scenes stuff for Winter Soldier. And then it takes place during the events of Winter Soldier. And then after the events of Winter Soldier to see the fallback of everything. Mm -hmm. So you'll see some familiar faces. That's all I'll say. Mm -hmm. But other than that... She's not really in a show like that. She mm -hmm. just she just made a couple cameos. No, I, whenever I see like pictures of H in the Shield, I always see Coulson and and Maria. Maria's so. not even, no. You, you're probably confusing her for um the other the other main girl. Either way, it doesn't matter. Nah, she's not in it. Mm -hmm. She's only like I said. She's only been in like a couple like just cameo episodes. Gotcha. So yeah, I could probably recall me two or three. I don't, no. You don't really well, see anyway. her. But um, but yeah, no. But for Maria, man, she's been like, she's been like the only real connection to what was left of Shield. Yeah. In the MCU. Outside of Nick. Outside of yeah, and that's what I mean. Like you know, because when you don't see Nick often, you'd always see Maria. Yeah. She was kind of like kinda handling handling things. things. Yeah. So she's always been holding it down when Nick wasn't present. Right. So it's gonna be kind of weird seeing, uh. It's going to be kind of weird seeing things without Maria, man. Because yeah. she's always been like Nick's right-hand person. You know, just kind yeah. of there to... Not like she's always on screen, but she's always there when someone needs her. Yeah, like, you know when you see Maria, it's like, you know... I don't know, it's like you just kind of felt like everything was under control. Yeah. You just kind of felt like, like okay, we're in good hands now. Like, things like, you know... It could be a small chance that she makes it out, but I don't really see that because they she's said, dead. you know, special guest. She's not on the she's, main cast. Yeah, she's dead. She gone, bruh. Yeah. So unless they pull some MCU magic and bring her back towards the end of the film or the end of the show. I and then so. okay. I'm just saying there is a room for that. But if not, then that's it unless for her. Unless some scrolls bring her in, try to tangle her body. Yeah. But I don't really see that happening. Unless, unless that was a scroll and we just didn't see the transformation. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like, you know, upon, you know, dying, they've usually, like, transformed. 
They yeah, but you know they they could have delayed it though. They could have yeah. delayed it because I'm just saying I'm just holding out a little hope because there's a I I'm I'm, I'm going in with the fact that that that's it for her, yeah. but the small chance that it's in the story that she is you know because you know we saw that they're holding the bodies of the original people mm-hmm. in their area there, mm-hmm. so who knows maybe Maria could be there. And someone just it's, took her. It's possible. Because they took the memories, too. Because yeah. she knew things that only, you know, Maria would know. So. Right. So I'm not denying that it is possible. but Because it could have been a certain thing, too, like where, worst case scenario, right? That the person who, I'm just saying, not worst case scenario, but like, in, just in case, it was a squirrel, Maria, mm-hmm. and Gravik shot her for two reasons one maybe she got too close in terms of like impersonating maria and got like personal with it mm-hmm. and instead of helping them tried to help nick mm-hmm. shot her for that reason mm-hmm. and two the main reason was to hurt nick fury could be. so it could be either way the main reason whether that's the real maria or not is that it was to hurt nick yeah it was to affect him yeah absolutely um just if that was a scroll would be because you know she betrayed and fell off her her yeah. her main mission but that's a less likely situation but um depending on if they drop two episodes you know Fair huh Fair okay um, yeah um how do you feel about this premiere episode it was definitely a setup for sure yeah. They had like the shocking, you know, thing at the end, obviously, but it's, I feel like it's going to be a good stepping stone, like visually, um, just the set design and that kind of stuff. I felt like looked pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously the scrolls look good. Um, I don't know, I feel like it could be good yeah. going forward. You just have to see where it goes. It's definitely in the same, uh, same feel as Falcon and Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. We're a more grounded kind of feel to it. Yeah, but this is definitely pretty high stakes. Yeah, high stakes. You're setting up a lot of things here. But we're seeing Nick Fury at like his... Not at his best. Yeah. So it's going to be really interesting to see where they go from here with this. The yeah, story especially with now without Maria. Without Maria, exactly. Because, you know, it's always been the one person... And she always he knew trust. his... Yeah, one person you could trust. She always knew how he operated. Mm-hmm. They had this kind of, like, you know, understanding of how they did things together. Yeah. So, no, you know... he only has Talos. Huh? No, he only has Talos. Oh, he only has Talos, yeah. So, he's going to have to make an alliance with uh, Olivia Coleman's character. Sonia? Huh? Sonia? Yeah, Sonia. You're going to have to make a, an alliance with her. Yeah. So, um... But yeah, I mean, like I said, it was some slower moments yeah. in there, you know. It's a setup, you it's know. It's a setup pilot. Um, six episodes, and like an hour each. Yeah, roughly, roughly. Close to it. So, at least I would assume so, since, you know. Yeah, I don't see it, see it being less than 30, less than 45 minutes. Yeah. Probably going to so. be around that range. Because this is a big story. Yeah. Um, and is... we didn't continue to play to see if there was any teases for the next episode. Yeah. So we probably should do that real quick. I just don't think that was a way for Maria to go, man. For a character that strong in the MCU, mm-hmm. that had such a presence in yeah. pretty much all the movies, from since Iron Man, or Iron Man 2, yeah, rather. Like a, at least a good chunk of them. Like, from Iron Man 2 upwards, she's been in the movies. Yeah. And featured in most of them. So I, I feel like she deserved a better ending than that. Yeah, but, you know, if you're in the field, sometimes things unexpected happen. You know, you see, you know, Nick, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's him. So... I don't know. I just feel like she deserved... I doubt it would be anything. But I feel like she just deserved a better... A better send-off for her character. Yeah, I get what you're saying. and I, I agree. But, you know, things do happen that, you know, sometimes you can't control. 
I know, but I'm just saying the way that they did it, they could have, you know. I understand, I understand. I'm not saying the nature and how she went is, you know, not fair or whatever, but it just, I feel like it just could have been a little bit more, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Grand, I guess. You know? Yeah, but, but also, like, yeah, she has been a part of the MCU for a very long time. But, you know, not every death has to be grand. Oh, I know, but she's just not, she's not like some side character that nobody knows. You know what I mean? Like, you know, she, she's been an integral part of the MCU. I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? That she I is know. like, she deserves the kind of on-screen death that a lot of the other ones got. I think. I don't know. We'll have to see what they do. Yeah. With it, but. Because it could also be like a plot point for Nick, too. It could be. You know, because now he's going to be grieving Maria. Is that going to affect him negatively? Is it going to, you know, shape him up to, you know, fight back harder to be more alert? It could do a lot of things for Nick in a positive way. Yeah, it's just I'm just not a fan of how they did it because I like Marie as a character, so yeah. I just I don't know. To me, I feel like she just needed a better ending, but yeah, yeah. as me. But either way, man. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, we'll have to see what happens in the next episode. See what happens with the series. See where they, how far they take it. Yeah. Um, I think you know I'm interested enough to see where everything goes. Yeah, definitely. And how they do things. Like I said, it was a slower, a bit of a slower thing. It's a little bit more of a melancholic side. But you know what? Sometimes I think that's okay for the MCU. Not everything needs to be bubbly. You know, they don't need to try to mix genres like what they did with Ant-Man and the Wasp, which just felt like a fever dream. Yeah. It didn't feel like I was watching an MCU movie. So this kind of takes it to a different, like, uh, tone, which I'm okay with. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Samuel L. Jackson, Samuel L. Jackson. He's yeah. going to make... You know, where there's where there's room for comedy with his like clapbacks and stuff, there'll be room and he'll Yeah, it's you still, know. you know, Nick Fury. Yeah. So Alright, so we'll end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one, Clockmaster and Cosmic Thanks. Ah.